It's uh, Joey Chamaqua. I'm in uh, one of my favourite weather Weatherspoons pubs. I'm in the Willow Walk, and that's in Victoria. I've been coming here quite a while. Lovely uh, sunny day. I'm about to recite my latest poem uh, once again. I did in the early hours of this morning, and it's called "Such Was My Love." Such was the depth of my love, self-sacrifice saw no limits. Nothing was to be spared, the bonds of marriage severed, I had to go. And such was the wilderness I entered, whose desolation and loneliness I found to be almost unbearable. I felt the missing deeply, and the missing part of me was dead. The awful ache of separation, I swear, was worse than torture, as I felt I was being choked to death, the victim of a slow hanging, still alive, but left to slowly sway back and forth, feet splashing in the rotting bilge, the fragile threads of hope all but gone, and not one Samaritan stepping up to save me. Such was my love. And then, after years of yearning, years enduring isolation, when my longing was all but spent, as were my tears, my children appeared from nowhere, more beautiful than I could ever have imagined. But strangers, and sadly we all, the three of us were destined to fall at the first fence. My fault, I suppose, because I saw what lay ahead, and it was anything but pretty. A poignant reminder of the troubles I deserted all those years ago. I feigned falling, but the truth is I threw myself upon my sword, so making it easier for them both another self-imposed sacrifice of which no doubt they will remain oblivious such was the depth of my love and that poems especially for my children